Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel AT Commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about how to create admin category page. So let's see how can we create category page for the admin. So first of all, uh, let's log in by the admin credential. So just click on the login link and uh, here just enter the admin email id and password so enter the admin email id which is admin at the rate admin.com and password is 12345678 and now just click on the login button and here you can see uh, the admin has been logged in all right and here is the admin uh, dashboard and logout link all right now let's create the new live wire component uh, for the categories so switch to the command prompt and first of all stop the running application so just press the control plus c and now for creating the new live wire component uh, just type here the command php artisan make colon live wire and add here the directory name uh, directory name is admin slash component name all right and component name is let's say component name is admin category component all right and now press enter component created now switch to the project and now let's create the route for the uh, admin category component file so let's go inside the routes directory then open wave.php file and inside this file just go inside this uh, admin middleware group route group and after this dashboard route just add here the new route to the admin category so right here route get and add here the uri slash admin slash categories all right and now just to add here the component class name which is admin uh, category component all right and column column class and also give the route name which is name and inside this name just add here admin dot categories all right and now save this file now open the base layout file so let's go inside the resources directory then views layout and from here just open waste.blit.php file inside this layout file let's find the admin menu so just call the page and here you can see the admin login link This is the dashboard link and this is the logout link. All right. So just before this logout link, just add here the li and add here the class menu as item and just close here the li and inside this li create anchor tag title categories and href is equal to double curly bracket route and inside this route we add here the route name which is admin dot categories okay so just copy and paste here now close this and add here the text category all right now save this file now open the categories admin categories component class file so for that just go inside the app directory then http live wire and then admin and from here just open admin category component dot php file all right this one and inside this file first of all add the layout so inside this render method uh, after this view, just add here arrow layout 
and inside this is a static the directory name layout dot uh, layout name which is base all right now fetch the categories so inside the gender method let's create a variable categories is equal to model name category column column and here i'm just going to use uh, live wire paginates pagination so before using the pagination just import here the live wire pagination with pagination so just write here use live wire slash with pag pagination and inside this class just add right here use with pagination all right and now uh, here just add paginate And inside this method, just add here the number of records in one page. So I'm just going to add here five. All right. And now just pass here the categories inside return. So after this view name, just add here the comma, then big bracket, categories, arrow, dollar category. All right. Now save this file. Now just open the admin category component view file. So for that, just go inside the resources directory, then views, live wire, admin, and from here just open admin category component dot php file. All right. And inside this file, let's add the table. So before adding the table, just add here the container. So just remove this text and add here the container. And also set this style padding and top and bottom let's say padding is 30 pixel and left right zero all right and now add the row then container uh, sorry column column md12 and now add here the panel go to check panel so for that just write here dot panel dot panel default panel dash panel dash default all right now inside this panel just add here the panel heading panel dash heading all right and inside this heading just add here a text all categories all categories all right now add the panel body panel dash body Inside this body, just add here the table. So write here table class and class is table table as a script. All right. Now add here the T head. Then T R T H and first heading is ID T H. Add here the category name. Category name, then slug, then the last, and here the action. All right, and now after the T head, add here the T body, and add here the for each directive, for each, then dollar categories as dollar category and inside this for it add here the tr then pd double cutly bracket dollar category arrow id now just copy this and paste two times change here the column name name and here slug All right, and add here the blank ID for the action. All right, and now after the table, just print here the pagination link. So for that, just write here double curly bracket, dollar categories, arrow link. All right. Now for the pagination, add some CSS here. So after this step, 
idea of this style tag and add the CSS nav SVG and set the height 20 pixel nav dot heated and just add the CSS display block important all right now it's done so let's check this so first of all run the application so switch to the command prompt and for running the application just write here the command php artisan serve all right now switch to the browser and just refresh the page And here you can see the categories link. All right. Now just click on this link. Okay, a spelling mistake. So let's check the spelling. So just go to the admin category component.php file and here as in it. Okay, so just add here the D. Okay, now save this file. And now let's click again. So just refresh the page. Okay. Now it's working. Panel is not working. So let's check the panel class inside the admin category component.blade.php file. Uh, panel default spelling is okay. Here is the spelling mistake. So just add here the panel dash heading. All right, now save this file and now refresh the page. Okay, now it's looking good. And here you can see the all category. Okay, in first page you can see there are five records. And if I click on next, you can see here the next record okay so in this way you can create admin category page in laravel at e-commerce so that's all about creating admin category page so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching